guys, good morning. I am getting ready to head out to a new grocery store that is called Needle, which I know that's super weird. It's actually spelled L-I-D-L, -L, so it looks like it would be pronounced Little, L-I-D-L, -L, but it's actually pronounced Needle, which I think is super weird, like I said. It is a German-based grocery store that started in Germany, moved to the UK, and now it's coming to the US. So I don't know how many stores there are, but I do know in my immediate area, I am in upstate South Carolina, there are two stores that have recently opened um, within like a half an hour drive of my house. I did go once and it was like a real quick impromptu kind of 10 minute go in, go out trip. Um, I did purchase a few things. Again, it wasn't a planned trip. So it wasn't very structured, but I really liked it. And I liked it so much that I actually wanted to take you guys there. Um, as far as I know, it's only in like a handful of states so far. I know it's in Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and I think there's a couple other states. I'm not sure what they are. However, from what I'm hearing, it's supposed to open a lot more stores throughout the entire U.S. So if you like Aldi, um, you know, you might want to check this place out if you have one near you. Um, it's very low prices. Um, to me, it doesn't have an Aldi feel. It has a little bit different of a feel. And again, I'm going to take you guys with me there so you can kind of get a feel for it. Of course, I'm going to share with you what I buy. Um, this is kind of like a midweek grocery haul for me. I do my big grocery haul every weekend, which you guys know. And I usually do like a midweek filler kind of haul each week. And I do that all different places. Sometimes it's public. Sometimes I'll grab some things at a smaller chain grocery store like Food Lion or Buy Low. Um, sometimes I'll pop into like Harris Teeter. It really depends. But this week it is Needle because this is why I'm doing the video because I have to go pick up a few things anyways and wanted to share what the store experience is like because again, they're gonna be expanding throughout the US very soon. So why don't we go ahead and head out and take you guys along with me. All right, so I got these my first trip. I do like them, but I like the Trader Joe's ones better. I find these a little bit sweet, but they are really yummy.
All right guys, so I am back from the store, which I found out is not pronounced needle, it's pronounced Lidl, so it rhymes with needle. I must have read online and saw the word needle and thought that's how it was pronounced, but it's Lidl, pronounced like needle. So let me start off by saying, uh, this was my second trip, I really enjoyed it again. It's definitely a different shopping experience because not only are you seeing your staples like meat and bread and eggs and cheese, and milk, but you're also seeing aisles with special things that they get every so often. I think it's like every week or every other week they get different specials, which could include anything from clothing, as you guys might have seen in the clips, to like random kitchen things or house things. So it's really like a variety store at the same time being a market because they have meat, a bakery, produce, Again, the staple things, but they also have a lot of different things as well. They did have a frozen section. They had a wine section. So really, they had a large variety of items. I was asked to stop filming, so I would have probably gotten more clips, and I was hoping to give like more commentary on certain items, but a manager approached me and said it's against company policy um, to film in their store without like a media release or something um, and I've had different issues in the past filming in stores with um, either customers or managers or employees not seeming just to understand the concept of vlogging and video making um, so that was a little bit awkward to deal with in the store but I'm happy I did get a little bit of clips a little bit of footage so my overall thoughts are I thought the price was great is it my favorite store ever no um, but it's definitely a place that I'm going to add to my like semi-regular rotation. My main place that I shop, which you guys mostly know, is Walmart. I would say second would be like Trader Joe's and BJ's. And then I have like semi-regular places that I go to, which are places like Aldi, Publix, Bilo, Harris Teeter, Food Lion. Those are kind of my once in a while type of places or semi-regular places. But the bulk of my shopping is done at Walmart because it's so cheap and they offer everything that I could possibly need. Um, but this store, Lidl, was nice. Again, it's a different shopping experience than, than anywhere else I've ever gone. I would highly recommend if you get one in your area to at least, if nothing else, check it out and kind of see what you could find and uh, see if you can find maybe products that you would normally buy somewhere else for cheaper. But overall, I'm really happy I went. I'm happy to, that I was able to share it with you guys, even though my filming got cut a little bit short. So I'm going to share now everything I purchased, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, so I spent $27.55. Again, this is just a little midweek kind of filler haul. Um, picked up some things that I either wanted to try or I actually needed. So I got those quick clips of the bakery cases. And I did try a few things the first time I went, and I was really impressed. So I picked up two of these pretzel rolls. I happen to love pretzel rolls for sandwiches. They're so good. And everything since I went in the morning was all fresh. Like some of the cases were steamy because everything was coming out of the oven. And they actually bake all their bakery things in-house. So I got two of these beautiful pretzel rolls. Look how pretty that is. I believe these were 59 cents each, guys. I have my receipt um, right here. Let me see here. Yes, they were 59 cents each, and they are delicious. I also grabbed two of these apple turnovers. I tried these the first time I went. These were 99 cents a piece, but they are pretty substantial. They're not like cheap little, they're, they're like a good size. They have a lot of apple filling in them. And I just picked up two for me and Matt for like a little dessert treat tonight. And then I also got two of these veggie quiches, like mini quiches. So they're not the hugest quiches in the world, but they are dense. They have some substance to them. And I believe these were 99 cents a piece. So 99 cents, 99 cents, 59 cents. I needed water, so I got this. Um, I believe it is a gallon and it was 59 cents. So I'm excited to start getting my water there because that's cheaper than Walmart by about 20 cents. So I got a 59 cent gallon of water. This corn was $1.79 which is nice because it's pretty much like 75% shucked. There's just a little um, corn husk on the bottom part, so we're gonna throw those on the grill, $1.79. These eggs were 39 cents, I believe, 
um, for a dozen. I think they were, and I actually needed eggs. I went to BJ's the other day, and I completely forgot to get them. Um, but I believe these were 39 cents, I believe. I'm not seeing, yes, 39 cents for a dozen. This English cucumber was 95 cents. These, um, I actually bought the first time I went, these exact things. They're really thick, round cotton pads, which I use to take up, I take off eye makeup um, with my eye makeup remover or nail polish or something like that. I think they were like $2, but these are thick. These are way better than like the ones, certain ones you'll get, you know how they kind of fall apart and you can see through them. These are thick. These will not fall apart. These peppers, I think, red peppers are expensive, guys. You guys know this. These were $1.89 for two big red peppers. They were $1.89, which I thought was a pretty good price because red peppers are expensive. This squash was $0.70 cents for this yellow squash. The bananas were, I think, $0.35 cents a pound. I've seen their price fluctuate a little on bananas between like $0.29 and $0.39. Cents. These were $0.35 cents today. Um, these I grabbed on a whim. They just looked good. Um, I love Korean barbecue, and these are Korean barbecue seasoned chicken breast cutlets. They were $1.33 a pound, right? I'm seeing two different things, but re no, okay. So they're $4.99 a pound, and this is a, um, one pound, um, one and a third pounds of chicken, and it was $6.64, so that's a little bit pricey, but it's pretty decent size for almost a pound and a half. These I got the first time I went, they were absolutely delicious. They were like $4.99, um, but shrimp's expensive, and these are like right, these are all cleaned and peeled, de-veined, delicious shrimp, and I love shrimp cocktails, so got those. Grabbed a bag of shoestring potatoes. I felt like having those one night when I do burgers and dogs on the grill. I think they were $1.89, I believe. Got two cans of creamed corn. They were $0.39 cents a piece because I'm going to do um, like a little rustic chicken uh, kind of stew, which I did a video on. I'll link it below, and you need creamed corn for that. I got a large sweet potato. I think these were $0.80 cents a pound. This is a huge one. And these were $1.69. They're the Baby Bella sliced mushrooms. I like to grill these. So not bad for $27. I mean, a, a chunk of it was this. Um, but I hope you guys kind of enjoyed just sort of hearing about this place. Again, it's Lidl. I thought it was Needle, but apparently I read it wrong, and it just it's pronounced as if it rhymes with Needle, so it's Lidl. So I hope you guys get one near you, and if you like this style of video, let me know, because I'll be happy to do more at different places that open and different kind of favorite places that I like to frequent. But have a great day, guys, and I will see you very soon.